A second database that you might find helpful is the Web of Science. And you'll find that off the list of databases under the tab Finding Articles under Databases. If you click on that, it'll take you to the search window. And again, if you put in alternative fuels and automobiles or cars or vehicles and you change this to be a topic and you go down and you refine the time period you want searched and you make that to the second piece option and you select from 2009 forward to three years and you probably only want to search the science piece of that. But there might be a second topic that you want to check with the alternative fuels. In addition to that, it might be efficiency, or it might be about combustion, or whatever, and you would change, use the pull-down menus to um, conduct the search that you want, and you would put topic in, if that were the case. Let's see what this retrieves for you, and your search will now come up at 399 in publication sorted by publication date. Again, you have some choices of how you want it cited, but I would suggest the most recent to the oldest of that three-year period. Nothing has been selected, and you'll see that. These are all going to be journal articles from the scholarly literature and some engineering. There will also be some overlap from those that you retrieved in Compendex. If you select what's highlighted here in this first example, not only will you get the full citation, but you'll get some additional information. The abstract with highlights of how you retrieved it or why you retrieved it. And it'll tell you that there are 30 articles in this bibliography. In addition, on the right sidebar, you will see some additional um, you can go into those 30 references and you could find things. The example here that makes this database unique is that it does forward searching. So if you retrieve something from 2005, as you see the first article, it will also tell you how many articles are time cited. So if you pull that up from 2005, it will take you back to the original search that we just conducted. Sometimes there'll be more, sometimes there'll be less. But if you find something that's older, it's a way to update that. So here is that article that we had. And on that right sidebar, a second area of interest might be related records which you did not retrieve, but will be somewhat relevant on a lateral scale based on the search. And the output will measure it quite differently based on what you just retrieved It'll compare the citations and tell you how many of them were common or unique. And you can see that you retrieved close to 1,500 titles, which you probably don't want to go through. But if you're not finding relevance, you'll find it there. After reading the abstract, the e-links will um, determine whether we carry this article and you can retrieve it in full text electronically, which is what you want being away from the campus. And it tells you that it's from one or another of our publishing partners. And you can click the PDF, and the article will come down right away. And um, it should retrieve it. And it takes a second to load. And you can retrieve it there. So I hope that's helpful. And you can build by checking the boxes that um, along the output here you can make this legible and um, you can read the whole article and you'll see the elements, illustrations, data, and references at the conclusion. So that's another example of using a database and retrieving articles and reading on location, assuming that you have activated and used your